Hello, this is Will from ProBackup, and in this video, I will show you how you can restore data back to your Airtable account. As you can see here, I'm logged into a demo account of Airtable with just a few tables and records. So let's say I have this record here and I'll delete it from my account. So I open the item and then click on delete project. So then this item has been removed from my uh, Airtable account. So how can I restore this with ProBackup? You visit probackup.io, sign into your account. Then in this drop down, you select the right backup or the right app rather for your account. So in this case, Airtable. Then I click on backups. And then on the left side here, you see the different data types that we are backing up for Airtable. So in the case of Airtable, that's records, attachments, comments, tables, and fields as well. In this case, I want to restore a single record of a table. So then I can use these fields to navigate to the right base and table. So it was the projects table, not the milestone table. And the item that I just removed was the uh, quarterly launch, right? So you can see the item here with all of, all of its information. You can also click on the created at date to then see more information of that record. And to restore, there's two ways. You can either um, select the item in the table here. You can also select multiple items. Um, you can select it in the table here and then click on restore, but you can also open the pop-up and then navigate to the right version to then uh, click here on restore copy. What happens if you restore a record? We will actually never over override existing data. Instead, we will always create a duplicate of the item to the existing parent entity. So if you restore a record, um, it will be restored as a duplicate to the related table. If you re restore an entire table, then it will be restored in its parent base and so on. Similarly, if you restore a comment, it will be restored to the original um, record as well. So let's go ahead. I'll click here on restore record to restart the restore. And if you then click on restore or go to restore reports, I am redirected to the reports page of my account. And then you can see here the progress of my restore. Here, just a very small, simple restore of run records, but this is very handy if you're restoring an entire uh, table with lots of records and lots of data, then you can use this uh, progress column to see what kind of data has been restored already. In this case, it's already done. So this means I can go to my uh, Airtable account and I see here, the same item that I just deleted at the start of this video reappears here uh, already together with the comments. So if I click on this, you'll see the comments also being restored. You also see the relationships between other tables restored. So um, in this case, I don't have any lookup fields, but these would be pre-populated again as well. And also the attachments are being restored. So as you can see, the record restore or the restore in general of Pro Back Pro Backup goes a lot further than just the restore that you would do via a data import using a csv or an xls file because we restore metadata such as the relationships and also the assets and um, comments so this is how to test the restore of an item um, you can also test the restore by just restoring any item let's say i go back to um, the backups um, page here select the right table i can also restore this item even if the item still exists in my account so in that case i'll uh, restore the customer research Click on restore records, uh, go to restores, and it's already being restored. It's a quick one. And if I then refresh the page, I see now two times the record with the customer research. So one is the original version and one is the restored version that I just um, restored. So this is a handy way to test restore. You don't need to delete any data from your account. You can just go ahead and go to the backups page, restore records, and then delete the restored records or restored data back from your uh, Airtable account. So we always recommend our users to test restore to get a better or more confidence in our uh, app. Um, so apart from records, you can also restore uh, other data types. So if I go back to the backups page, I can go to uh, attachments as well. So if I were to restore an attachment, they would be restored to its parent record. Same for comment, uh, comments, and you can also restore entire tables. So I'll show you how this works. So here I've selected all tables of a certain base. So I have two tables in my base. And by the way, these columns is a handy way to drill down to, for example, the records of that project. So if I click here on view records, I actually jump back to the rep records page on the left side here and see all of the records for that particular uh, project. 
But back to the uh, table level, so to restore table, um, the process is very similar. I select the project that I would, or the table that I would like to restore, and then click here on restore table. And if I go to the restore report, you see here again uh, the process. So in the case of a table, what we'll do is creating a second table, like as a duplicate to the existing base. And between brackets, we say or we write the uh, timestamp of when this restore has been initiated. So if you test restore a few times and you would like to know which restored version was the last one, for example, then you can uh, see this here in this timestamp. So if I open this project, um, I can see all the data has already been uh, pre-populated as it was before. So this is in a nutshell how you can restore data, both active and deleted records with ProBackup. I hope this video was helpful. If you wish to learn more about the other functionalities of ProBackup, then I highly recommend uh, to check out our YouTube channel or also our help center. Thanks for watching.